Hey everybody, Michael here again at our Epic RV Adventure. Have you ever been at a campground where, you know, the lights were flickering in your RV or the air conditioner didn't seem to be working right or just something seemed a little off? You didn't have a, a multimeter to check the power at the pedestal, but your surge protector said everything was okay. So you just assumed everything was okay. Well, number one, you should always have a multimeter so you can check uh, the power and also learn how to use that multimeter correctly, of course. Make sure your power is okay. More importantly, you also have a surge protector that will monitor the voltage for you, like the Hughes Power Watchdog will, can with its uh, Bluetooth module. So I can look at any time and see where my voltage is at. But we've been at places at times where there we had our lights flickering, the microwave seemed a little off, the air conditioners didn't seem to be pushing out the air like they should. And when we look at the voltage on our pedestal, you know, we're getting we're getting pretty low, well under 110 volts. So how do you fix that? Especially in parks where that's kind of a constant because maybe it's an older park or the system's being um, overused because there's a lot of RVs in that spot or whatever the case may be. How do you get around that? Well, there's only one way to get around that safely and properly, and that's using this guy right here, the Hughes Autoformers voltage booster and built with built-in surge protection. This is the 50 amp unit to go along with our 50 amp RV right here. And the nice thing this thing will do was it'll take that low voltage and boost it up by about 10% or up to 10% rather. So you have that smooth constant voltage that your devices require and helps the devices actually last longer as well. So this thing is a little heavy. It weighs about 35 pounds. Nice thing about this being a uh, Hughes product as well, if the search protection module does fail within the first two years, they'll send you a new one for free. So you can't beat that warranty for sure. This is the only patented RV voltage booster on the market today. So this guy will take care of you. If you're a full-timer, you really need one of these. Part-timers, depending on where you camp, this could be an RV saver, you know, RV appliance saver, RV um, part saver. So how hard is this thing to install? Well, pretty easy, because if you can plug into your pedestal, you can plug in a surge protector, then you can plug in this, because that's all it takes. As you can see right here on the box, it tells you when it's boosting. It monitors and analyzes your shore power. It performs complete surge protection. It also tells you when to replace surge protection unit. So you've got handy dandy lights here that are even labeled. So you don't have to go look in a manual or anything else like that, or figure out what an E1 or R1 or whatever code is. You get the lights on, you read the words beside it, and it tells you what's going on. That's about as simple as it gets. This plugs right into your pedestal. Then you plug your RV into this, and you're good to go. Now, one thing that we're going to do when we do install this is we're going to continue to use our Hughes Autoformers Power Watchdog Surge Protector with emergency power off, mainly because it has the Bluetooth module, so I can still monitor power from my phone. If you're going to do something like this, you need to make sure that you put that surge protector between the RV and this. If you plug that surge protector directly into the pedestal, it's going to read a low voltage and it's going to shut down to protect your RV. So this will never get a chance to work. So you need to plug this directly into the panel. That way when it does read a low voltage, this thing will kick into action, does what it's designed to do, boost that voltage, and you're good to go. Uh, power watchdog being on the other side of it between the RV and this. Now I can monitor the voltage coming out of this right before it goes into the RV. And that's really what I'm concerned about anyway, being able to see what voltage is coming into the RV. Now, some people might say, well, that's two surge protectors. Is that really necessary? Well, no, it's not necessary, but it's not going to hurt anything either. Surge protection module in this doesn't work for whatever reason then I'm pretty confident that the surge protection module and the power watchdog with EPO will definitely take care of the job and protect my coach. So let's go install this thing. So, so how easy it is. Like I said, it is kind of heavy. It's about 35 pounds or so. So it's going to take a little bit of lifting and got to have a good spot for it outside. This does also come with a cable security lock so you can connect it to the pedestal and hopefully this thing won't walk off. So let's go install it. Okay, so we got the unit out of the box. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the box itself, which is a good thing. Doesn't take up a lot of room. 
the input power cord it's pretty short and that's okay and then on the side here is where you plug into your RV and like I said for what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our power watchdog with the EPO right here and then we're going to plug the RV into the power watchdog okay so now we are going to plug this bad boy in it's a little cramped here where I'm at I've got my shore power pedestal right here and also campground Wi-Fi is right here not that it matters because the campground Wi-Fi here stinks but I do have a good strong signal of slow speed so I've got everything important turned off inside so we're gonna go ahead and pull the breaker down disconnect the power watchdog now we're gonna plug in the voltage booster all the way in breakers on and I'll turn this around so you can see we have kind of hard to see with the glare all good so go ahead and sit that back down we're gonna take our power watchdog plug it in or to click so it liked everything it's all so it's turned on so now we're gonna plug in the RV to the power watchdog and just like that we are good to go all right, so let's take a quick peek at what I've got set up here. It's kind of cramped and cluttered in here, and I haven't hooked up my security cable yet, and I'm probably going to go get another security cable just to make sure that everything is, well, secure. So let's take a quick peek. As you can see, I've got the power watchdog. It's nice and happy. I've got all the lights are green on the voltage booster so now all I need to do is run my security cable right here so if I can run it through here here and around here or at least around this pole for now keep everything nice and secure so we've been using our Hughes Autoformers voltage booster now for about three months and we love it I am honestly surprised at how many times we've actually noticed that it's actually boosting power the nice thing about having the power watchdog with EPO plugged into the voltage booster is that I can use the Bluetooth app and it gives me alerts and warnings as well so I've gotten a couple of warnings that one leg has been a low voltage um, a couple of times but it's been almost instantaneous so the voltage would drop the voltage booster detects it boost it back up we're good to go we're in business it's really just a blip so it's happened at two different parks about three different times so far. So very surprised at the frequency that it's happened. And I'm also very thankful that I have both these uh, great Hughes products, the Voltage Booster, along with the Power Watchdog with EPO to help keep my RV, my stuff, myself, my wife, and my dog safe. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people don't realize these aren't just devices that protect you from getting a surge through your RV they can actually protect your RV from catching fire due to these electrical issues saving your life saving your stuff so it's not just a simple matter of not having to change a fuse it's a simple matter of still being able to have your stuff in your RV in your life it's just that important folks thank you so much for watching and may your adventures be epic ones bye